I'm regional media film critic Sean Patrick with a review of Ben-Hur, starring Jack Houston. People of Jerusalem, friends of Rome, we celebrate the power of man! You will see them race for glory. You will see them fight for honor. You will see them die for you. Should have stayed away. You should have killed me. I will. This is the sixth retelling of the legend of Ben Hur in uh, on the big screen. Uh, of course, ni- 1959's Charlton Heston version being the most famous. This one stars Jack Houston in the role of Judah Ben Hur, a man who doesn't want us to be involved in the Roman invasion of Israel, but is drawn into it by his brother, played by Toby Kebbell, who is now a general in the Roman army, having having been raised by this Israeli family. For so many years, he finds himself a general in this army and feeling betrayed when his brother takes in a, takes in a young man who was a member of the Israeli resistance. Uh, the This obviously draws Ben-Hur into uh, this story, and he end, winds up becoming a slave for several years in the Roman army, uh, rowing a ship until finally he's able to escape. He finds his way back to Israel uh, with the help of a a traitor played by Morgan Freeman who will put him into a race, a chariot race that will happen to be against his brother, the Pride of Rome. Uh, that is the setup for Ben Hur. The execution is okay. Uh, this is not a movie that you're going to remember too long after you see it. Jack Houston is strong in the movie. Morgan Freeman is, well, he's Morgan Freeman. Those are the two best things about this movie. Toby Kebbell, his performance is a little bit weak. His motivation is not quite all that well understood. <laughs> And uh, the movie itself is pretty mediocre for the most part. Jack Houston, though, does invest the uh, Judah Ben Hur with a great deal of uh, feeling. And uh, Rodrigo Santoro is also in this movie playing Jesus, and and he's very strong. He, you very much believe uh, in his character is his as is Jesus. It's uh, quite a strong performance. But that said, this is a mostly mediocre, mostly forgettable movie. I can kind of recommend it because it is good enough, but you're not going to remember Ben Hurd too long after you see it. I'm Sean Patrick.